So we're at this really cool farm and accommodation and really lucky that we can stay here right now with COVID because you're not supposed to go very far. When you're working, you can stay in accommodations and it's nice to have a break from the van and have hot showers and hot water and a wood stove and all of those things. I feel refreshed. <laughs> We're here in Lower Saxony, which is the state in Germany, and Rostorf Rost is the town, or the, the town that we're closest to. Um, you can hear all the sheep and goats in the background. Maybe we should go say hi. <laughs> I find animals so funny. I love them. Look at this delicious mud pie. <laughs> oh my god, these sheep. Okay, this place is so cool. So here's the farmhouse up here and the animals all around. And um, there's their plan is to make a bunch of tiny houses, I think maybe a little bigger than this, or some vans or things like that for woofers to come, and I think ideally a small community to live here. Um, and then there's farm space back there, and huge workshop spaces. It's just like, like arriving here and talking to these people, I said to Oliver, I was like, these are our people. <laughs> Oliver and I talk about having um, an old farmhouse and having a garden and potentially some animals and sharing the space with other people so that we can still travel and things like that. And I really do believe it's possible. <laughs> and then having a space for like workshops and crafts and even accommodation for a way to make money or renting a space out. And this place, though still new and still building, is all of that. I just get so excited. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna ax out a set of salad spoons. We have one order and then we wanna make more. So, um, if you've watched my axing video, which I'll link over here, I think, right? Link here. I don't know that I said this, but I like to have, if I have an ax block like this, then I like to have the high part on my left-hand side, my non-dominant side. I noticed that I probably didn't mention that. It's, it can be very long to watch, it's an hour, but if you follow me for a while, you'll learn so much about spoon carving and all the other crafts I like to do. <laughs> Let's make another one. So here we are, two serving spoons, or salad spoons. I think I'm gonna go get my other spoons and do some carving outside while it's light and then go inside and do warm things. All of this vlogging stuff and making videos is still really new to me and it feels I've said this before if you follow me on Instagram or even probably in other videos because I often repeat myself like a lot of people uh, it's been really hard for me and really confronting and I'm slowly finding my way through it I'm really glad you're here and I 
I'm like committed to showing the creativity and uniqueness of my life to inspire you to follow your passions, to travel, to make things. And I also really want to be real with you. I want you to know that it's not all uh, stars and rainbows and life in general, you know, we're all living very raw experiences, but very rarely see the raw experiences of other people. My knives need to be sharpened, which I'll do tomorrow. So, how many times have I said so? <laughs> so, all of this. <laughs> Are they leaving or just running the car? Okay.